Okay. We're going to say Shalom to everyone. Uh, thank the Most High for uh, the Shabbat. This is a very important lesson. Um, hopefully everything is clear. Hopefully this thing worked correctly. Um, now, I want everyone um, that do not you know, maybe have uh, all the precepts. Uh, you know, this is what you would say. It's, it's almost pretty much basics when it comes down to uh, how to understand who you are in the earth. Um, that is not the most important thing, but it becomes extremely important when other people, be it your family member or some person that you're conversing with say it doesn't matter now I've covered this a few times uh, but I'm going to go into scriptures and I want everyone that want to go to their family member I want you all to uh, jot these scriptures down that I'm about to go into okay um, so bear with me I'm a little tired but I thought I would just sacrifice and put this information out uh, because what I'm understanding what's going on in these in these last days of course we you know people say well it's been the last days for a long time well and you know a day in heaven is a thousand vile years <laughs> so that's what you gotta understand uh, so based on this and I want to take my time okay I may have to do a few parts on this of course um, the, the first issue that we have, what you're going to run into when it comes down to people, they're going to say, so how you know that you're an Israelite? They may not say it right off that way belligerently, but in the back of their mind, based on the way they articulate their questions, you're going to have to perceive that and almost be on the defensive because you're going to have to you know, bring out scriptures when they come to it to that actual question to ask you so what you say to them is how do you know that you are African American because someone told you not because you understand you're African American and I'm just going to use the, the so called blacks over here for, you know for right now now that's the first question Since I mean they tell you not to ask the question with that question but that question can lead you down a path where you're going off into a tangent and you don't want to do that. So what you do is you open them up with that because it's all, you're, playing, you're actually playing chess with that person. Even though this is not a game, but people like to play games, first of all, because they want to see, they want you to present your information uh, in a way where they are trying to trip you up all right so me being in this for a while um i pretty much ran into everything uh when it comes down to this so that's why it's a, it's, it's kind of like basic but it's very much needed and i want you all to jot these scriptures down okay now and what i just said because just in case they ask and you're going to run into it trust me you're going to run into this so what does it matter how do you know? All right. So the first thing we're going to go into is how do you know? All right. That you are an Israelite. So the, the, what you say to them is, well, this is how you know. Okay. You go to hope. You, you go to Psalms 83. Okay. I want you to go to Psalms 83 and start at the first verse. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. So this is David uh, speaking to the Most High for, or well, actually singing to the Most High. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Okay, now I know of a lot of you that follow my, my channel have looked into these scriptures before and probably 
understood that I go through these. But based on other viewers, because I've, I've noticed that the page is kind of moving. So I'm going to put this out there for those of you that want to go to your family. Show them this video or you can actually go through this based on what I'm saying. For what the scriptures are saying. For lo thine enemies and make a tumult. So we know that Israel, because David is from the seed of Abraham, from the tribe of Judah. He's from the kingship. For lo thine enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee. So there's people that hate the children of Israel. I don't want to go too fast. That hate thee have lifted up the head. So when it says lift up the head, they're getting ideas on how to kill off the children of David, the children of Israel, which the seed of Christ comes from the lineage of David, which is in Hebrew 7 and 4, 7 verse 14, out of the tribe of Judah. Okay? They have taken, this is what they said in verse 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So the enemy is taking strategic plans against the children of Israel and consulted against thy hidden ones. So they consulted against the ones of Israel that are hidden. So that's what that's saying. Hidden means they are scattered, and I'm going to show scriptures on that, in various countries, into various parts of the land, dealing with, dealing, dealing with the land being colonized, and they lost their identity. And this is how you know. Verse 4, they have said, this is what they're going to say, this is what the enemy is going to say in these, when they come together. Let us cut them off from being a nation. So this is what they conspired against Israel. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now, of course, you can go into verse 6, but I don't want you to go into verse 6 yet. Just read these few verses right here so all they need to know at this point is because you want you don't want to give them too much meat and information about Edom and things of that nature I know a lot of you all understand who Edom is a lot of you all understand who Ishmael is more and Hagarines just deal with verses 1 through 5 in Psalms 83 that should open that should give them a, a, a light bulb to come on in their head you got some people that's coming against Israel these people are going to come against Israel to the point where they strategically put a plan together so they don't know who they are. So now, verse 5 again, for they have consulted together with one consent. So all the enemies of Israel, they came together. And I'm going to have to go into verse 6 where the comma is. And it says the tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of Edom, they, can, they came together with Edom. Which is today some people don't understand. They believe that Eden is some other race, but it's the Europeans today. But it says the tabernacles of Edom, which means there's a bloodline of the European that is extremely evil. That's what it's saying. Then they went and dealt with the Ishmaelites and Moabs and Hagarines and all the other nations came together with the Europeans to take down the Hebrew people. Okay, I don't want to. I want to talk slow. I want to. I want this to go out clear. That's what you're looking at today. But the question was spawned: Well, how do you know if you're an Israelite? Well, this is how you understand. Now it should matter a little bit because the same question is going to spawn. Well, hey, how do you know that you're an Israelite? Well, how do you know, based on what I'm reading here, you are an American, black American? Because it's some birth certificate said that. What about 
people that look like me, since that's my nationality, that look like me, are way in the UK somewhere. Are, is their nationality American? <laughs> African American? Think about it. So how can that be? Where everybody that's that look like me should be African American. They can be all the way in Asia somewhere. You got some brother that look like me all the way in 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 Alaska somewhere. I mean, well, not Alaska, yeah, Alaska or some other place in in the world. I guess their nationality is African American because they we resemble. That's how you understand that you are lost people because the Most High scattered us. Okay, now. This is what you want to run into now. The next scripture can be what you would call, can make people sensitive. But you have to go here. Because the Most High said that his word is like a two-edged sword. Let's go to Hosea 4 verse 6. Okay. And please write these down. Who knows how long this internet stuff is going to work. As much as I'm being watched and surveilled, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to do this. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Now, this is not a cruel God. That's what people call the, the, the God of the Hebrews. He's not being cruel here. And I'm going to show you why. Because thou have rejected knowledge. That's the reason why you lack knowledge. Because you reject it. Because somebody tell you. Look, hold up. You're not African American. You're not Jamaican. You're not Hawaiian and all these other names. You are. From the seed of Abraham. And you are an Israelite. How do you know? That question never spawned. When someone gave you a birth certificate <laughs> and they put your name there and they say you this and that or they call you this, you don't you, you just agree with it because you're just used to hearing it, not because you looked into it. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You didn't look into the reason why you are an African-American. You're going to find out that you're not when you look into the, the information. That's why it says our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge. You reject the information that the brother or sister is coming to you with to say that you're an Israelite. I will also reject thee. That's where we are today. That thou shalt be no priest to me is caused. Of course, we're reading in Hosea. At the, at the time before Christ, you had the Levitical law, the Levites. They were, which is the, which is the tribe of Levi is the Haitians, but I don't want to get too much information. This is a basic understanding on how to open people minds of your family members and things of that nature, friends, family, whoever, so they can get a, a foundational uh, understanding on how they can see that they're the children of Israel. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law. Forgot the law of thy God. Well, you would say in your mind, well, okay, you got Israelis or Jewish. Hmm. Sort of, kind of. You know, that's what ish means, suffix at the end of the word. Jewish people in the land of Israel today, which is a tourist attraction. It's not really the real true essence of Israel where we come from but that area where they are you will believe that they're Israelites even everything out of their name don't even sound like an Isra Israelite Israeli that's almost like a, a another spin off of a Yiddish like a Yiddish language that they speak but you were like well hold up they didn't forget the law. They still deal with the law, but they don't. I'm going to read the other part of this verse. Hopefully this thing is still working. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So you destroy because you didn't go into what they deal with. 
once you go into what they really deal with, you're going to understand that they deal with the deal with Kabbalism and they read through the Talmud. Did you know that there's a there's a passage in their Talmud that says that Christ is in hell in a human excrement? Yeah, that's what they deal with. They don't deal with the Bible as it is written. OK. Now, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Hold up. If the people of the Bible don't know who they are, and the most I said this is going to happen, he said, I'm also going to forget your next your generation. That's what they're saying. I will also forget thy children. So now. How can they be Jews there if the children of the Most High <laughs> will be rejected and forgotten? The Most High says he's going to forget thy children. So that should get people to understand our people to really open their mind to really understand who they really are. Now the next scripture. Well, all that sounds great, uh, you know, but uh, it's just something about it. Well, it's okay. I just go through some few scriptures here, and all you do is lay the foundation. You're not there to try to convert someone. No, you're not. This is not a fair suitable type <laughs> deal here. They either deal with the information, and either they hear or forbear. It's up to them. You give the information and you roll. Jeremiah chapter 17. Okay. Verse 1. This is the next line of scriptures you read to him. The sin of Judah. Now we're talking about the head tribe. There's going to be sin there. You have to attack the head so the rest of the body fall. Without no head, there's no body. <laughs> there's nothing, nothing's going to move around. It's just going to be reflex. And that's what you see. By reflex, how people want to go out and march. Not knowing that marching... Is, is 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 a sign of war, but by, by reflex, because you know you know how if a body don't have a head, it it may jump around a little bit for a while, and then all of a sudden it flops. But by reflex, our people want to go out into the churches and shout like they on fire, but that is because they don't understand who they are. Okay, Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse one: The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron. And with the point of a diamond, it is graven. I got to make sure I got to move this around, make sure it works. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Well, if their children remember, remember their altars and their groves, so there's an issue here. We're dealing with the worship of other gods. Well, if their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills, O oh, my mountain, in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasure to the spoil. In thy high places for sin. Throughout all thy borders. Throughout all thy borders. This is a place where we're going to be scattered. Verse 4. Very key. Please pay attention and hopefully you write this down. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage, heritage excuse me, that I gave thee. So the Most High gave the children of Israel an heritage. Riches. We had everything. But you're going to be discontinued from that heritage that I gave thee. So he's going to discontinue. When you discontinue something, it's off the shelf. You can't get it no more. Where is it? People may be looking for it. People outside of Israel be studying, like, who are these people? I don't I know I heard of these people before. Where are they? I like that. Where are, where, where are they? Just like when you go to a church or go to a store, it's something discontinued. It may be some people that was favorites to it. You know, they may like the merchandise or whatever, but they can't get to it no more. They're looking for it because you're discontinued from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. What enemies are the Israelis uh, serving over there in Israel today? That's how you understand. Serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. So we've actually set the most high on fire 
which shall burn forever which shall burn forever based on this life every generation will feel the heat of the most high you're going to be poor you're going to be broke your face is not even on the money people think some of our people think because they can shoot a basketball even i like to play ball and all that we we, we think we are famous and we got money but let me tell you you're not you don't have anything <laughs> okay that money and all that is going to be burned up for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever thus saith the most high cursed be the man that trusteth the man and that's what our people have done to the oppressors. You trust them. You lean on them. Of course, because we don't get together. We don't know how to stick together no more. Because we are a cursed people from the beginning. And the Most High say we're going to be discontinued. We had we were very civilized. We were we had honor. We had glory. We had everything. But what happens is when you break from the commandments, you don't know how to conduct yourself. And the generations thereafter don't understand and that's what causes a, a ripple effect to our nation we don't understand this that's why it says thus saith the most high curse be the man that trusted the man and make a flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the from the most high okay so that's those scriptures you can read one through five I, like i said i don't want to go through too much okay i'm gonna make a part two of this